General, I give you Ballandor. <laughs> yes, General Dracius. I think tonight's celebration will be one to remember. so fast huh you wouldn't be talking to me would you let's have a look at your face well, surely you've better things to look upon than the pock marks and wrinkles of a tired old man huh i said take off the hood and show me your face good enough proceed oh many thanks you soldiers are truly a credit to your king. Hey, you sure? I don't like the looks of him. Uh, I don't know. Any moment now. The prophecies were very specific about where it would begin. This now. Your Grace, how does our young princess fare today? Look at her, Sarvain. She's the picture of her mother. Ten painful years since that day, and still my Cisna speaks not a word.
Proceed with the ball. Presenting her to the people now might only add to their alarm. Oh, what nonsense. None of those attending expect Cisna to speak. Her presence and her composure will suffice. Hmm. Still, I would give all my riches to see a real smile cross her face again. Florine, she would know. She always knew how to make Cisna laugh. Sire, forgive me, but the princess's heartbreaking condition begs the old question. Why in creation are we making peace with the same people who robbed her of her mother? My wife is gone, Sarvain. War has taken her, just as it has taken so many before her. But war will not give her back. The Farians speak our tongue, we ought to trade words with them from now on, not lives. Hmm. Oh, Cisna, you look radiant. That dress suits you beautifully. Your Grace. What is it? Archduke Dalam of Faria will be arriving shortly. Good. See that he is given a proper welcome. Yes, sire. Also, a group calling themselves the Marcus Revelers are outside the gates. They say they wish to perform in honor of Her Highness's special day. Shall I turn them away? A circus? Today? A gift? What day could be more deserving of a little extra celebration? Hmm. Very well. Let them into the city, then. Yes, sire. Anything to report? No, sir. Quite a procession. I hope the Archduke has enough pillows. War mongering, far eat scum. Who are you? I am Cyrus of Balandor. Captain of the Castle Guard. Your Excellency, we are most honored by your visit. Hmm, are you now? Tell me, sir, how is His Grace? Is he doing well these days? He is doing quite well, Your Excellency. Is he now? That's good to hear. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Does His Grace really hope to make peace with these people? Peace with the Farians? The idea makes my blood boil. Has the king forgotten? So soon.
Damn it, Lennon! Whoa! Where the hell have you been? You better not have forgotten what today is! Yeah, I know. Today is the princess's ball. She's introduced to society and we step into the big time. Got it. This is a momentous day for Apache Wines. The court picked us to supply wine for a party at the castle. We gotta do it right and earn the shop a bona fide royal commendation. Now, I worked my fingers to the bone to get this far. <laughs> Look, I'll leave for the Parma Winery now and I'll be back with time to spare. Ha, <laughs> you better. I rented a beast wing at the village for you. Use it to cart the wine back here, like your life depends on it. Cause it does! Uh, all right! And while you're at it, that's the new guy. Take him with you. Oh. Hi there. I'm Leonard. Ow! Just get your butts moving! You can talk on the road! All right, gods. Let's see. We have to fetch the barrels from the Parma warehouse using the Beast Wain. Boy, that is a lot of work. Well, let's get going. man needs to learn how to relax. Streets are packed today.
weird. The village of Parma is due south of here. Pretty simple. There's not much to it, but it's a nice enough place. Say, uh, you're new to Ballandor, aren't you? Then why don't I show you the sights along the way? Sound good? Just keep a lookout for monsters. We're in the wild now.
You'll learn the way in no time. More or less a straight shot to Parma. You asked! 